Hi, in this video, we will be talking about completing a square. So completing a square is writing a quadratic as x plus u squared plus v, where u and v are numbers. So some of you might recognize that x plus u squared is known as a perfect square. So by completing a square, we're writing a quadratic expression as a perfect square plus or minus a number. So as a quick reminder, the first three perfect squares are x plus 1 squared, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. The next one is x plus 2 squared, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4. And finally, x plus 3 squared, which is x squared plus 6x plus so for example we have the quadratic x squared plus 4x plus 3 so we have to find a perfect square that contains 4x so if you recall from the last slide that the perfect square that contains 4x is x plus 2 squared which is expanded to give us x squared plus 4x plus 4 so this means that we can write x squared plus 4x plus 3 as so x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equals to this perfect square which is x squared plus 4x plus 4 and we have to take away 1. So therefore since we can write this as x plus 2 squared so we have x plus 2 squared minus 1 and we can see that x plus 2 squared minus 1 is in the completed square form. So therefore, x squared plus 4x plus 3 written in the completed square form is x plus 2 squared minus 1. For the second example, we have x squared plus 6x plus 12. So we have to find a perfect square that contains 6x. And this perfect square will be x plus 3 squared which is expanded to give us x squared plus 6x plus 9 so therefore we can write x squared plus 6x plus 12 as this perfect square which is x squared plus 6x plus 9 and we have to add another 3 and so therefore since we can write x squared plus 6x plus 9 as x plus 3 squared then we have the plus 3 here, so we have written x squared plus 6x plus 12 in the completed square form, which is x plus 3 squared plus 3. In general, the perfect square that we will use to complete the square of any quadratic expression will be x plus half the number in front of x squared. Why is this? This is because if we have, let's say, x plus u squared where u is any number. When we expand this, we will always get x squared plus 2u times by x plus u squared. So if u is half the number in front of x, then this term here, 2u, will be 2 times half the number in front of x, which is just simply the number in front of x. So let's use this trick on the next example. So let's say we have the quadratic x squared plus 8x plus 14. So using the trick, the perfect square will be x plus half the number in front of x. So in this case, we have 8, so half of 8 is 4. So our perfect square will be x plus 4 squared. And if we expand this, we will get x squared plus 8x plus 16. So therefore, we can write x squared plus 8x plus 14 as this perfect square which is x squared plus 8x plus 16 and we have to take away a 2 and therefore since we can write x squared plus 8x plus 16 as x plus 4 squared we have this minus 2 at the end so therefore we have expressed x squared plus 8x plus 14 in the completed square form which is x plus 4 squared minus 2 
We can also use the district with negative or odd numbers. So for example, if we have x, x squared minus x plus 3. So our perfect square will be x minus half the number in front of x. So in this case, it will be minus 1. So half of minus 1 will be minus 0 0.5. So our perfect square will be x minus 0 0.5 squared. So if we expand this, we'll get x squared minus x. Then we have minus 0 0.5 squared, which is plus 0 0.25. So therefore, we can write x squared minus x plus 3 as x squared minus x plus 0 0.25. And we need to add on another 2.75. And we can write x squared minus x plus 0 0.25 as x minus 0 0.5 squared and just to complete everything we have plus 2.75 so x squared minus x plus 3 written in the complete square form is x minus 0 0.5 to the power of 2 plus 2.75